Good afternoon and welcome to this Eucharist here at Walter Reed Bethesda. Special welcome to those of you watching from other parts of the hospital. Um, and we become, we are all united with Christ as we gather for Eucharist. For God, there is no distance, no social distance. So we gather in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And we turn to the God that is the source of all true peace, forgiveness, and reconciliation. We pray for ourselves and for those in our need of healing and peace. Lord Jesus, you are the source of all true peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord. Christ Jesus, you forgive us and send us to forgive one another. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your desire is the harmony, peace, and reconciliation of all races, nations, social classes, and ways of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May God forgive our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. We bow our heads in silent prayer. God, you are the strength of those who hope in you. Hear our pleas. Without you, we can do nothing. Grant us always the help of your grace, so that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. We pray this through Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading describes a very famous prophet from uh, the Old Testament times and, and what he meant to the people. Our first reading is a reading from the book of Syria. Like a fire, there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as a flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered. In his zeal, he reduced them to straits. By the Lord's word, he shut up the heavens, and three times brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds, whose glory is equal to yours. You brought the dead man back to life from the nether world by the will of the Lord. You sent kings down to destruction and easily broke their power into pieces. You brought down nobles by their beds of sickness. From their beds of sickness, you heard threats at Sinai, at Horeb, avenging judgments. You anointed kings who should inflict vengeance, and a prophet as your successor. You were taken out Lord, in a wild wind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses. You were destined, it is written, in time to come, to put an end to wrath before the day of the Lord, to turn back the hearts of fathers towards their sons, and to reestablish the tribes of Jacob, Blessed is he who shall, who shall have seen you and who falls asleep in your friendship. For we live only in our life, but after death, our name will not be such. O Elijah, enveloped in the wild wind. Then Elisha, filled with a twofold portion of your spirit, wrought many marvels by his mere word. During his lifetime, he feared no one, nor was any man able to intimidate his will. Nothing was beyond his power. Beneath his flesh was brought back to life. In life, he performed wonders, and after death, marvelous deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
a response to the psalmist, rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is king. Let earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Fire goes before him and consumes his foes round about. His lightnings illumine the world. The earth sees and, and trembles. Justice, rejoice in the Lord, you just. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim justice, and all peoples see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. All who worship graven things are put to shame, who glory in the things of not. All gods are prostrate before him. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. You have received a spirit of adoption as sons, through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. I'm with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask him. So this is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. If you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the, the religion of the Jews, the religion which Jesus and Mary uh, were part of, uh, they had three types of people that they looked to for leadership. Kings, priests, and prophets. Uh, and they were all highly respected. And they were, it was felt that it was their leadership of the kings, the priests, and the prophets came from God and would lead them, continue to lead them to God. Um, the only thing is that the prophets were sometimes hard to listen to because the prophets were like the conscience of the people. And they were often re reminding the people, not just of their obligations to the temple or their, ob their obligations to pray, but it was reminding them of their obligations to one another, to take care of the poor, of the orphan, the widow, the stranger, to be fair in their dealings with one another, to bring justice and to bring peace instead of uh, injustice, and oppression, instead of violence. So the prophets were like the conscience, but like our conscience. Sometimes our conscience tells us things that we don't want to hear, but that we need to hear, because our conscience calls us back to the right path. Well, that's what the prophets were for the people in, in Jesus' in Jesus's tradition. 
and he and he tells you he tells us prophets sometimes are hard to listen to because they are telling us difficult truths um, Martin Luther King uh, was in many ways a prophet when it came to uh, the question of, of racial justice uh, these days in in our cities we hear voices of people calling us reminding us about justice, uh, racial justice, social justice, uh, changing and reforming our laws and customs so that no one is, uh, is oppressed and no one is left out. These are all, this is prophecy. We, as I said, sometimes we don't like to hear it. As Jesus himself said, uh, no prophet is welcome in his home country. And in fact, Jesus pointed out in the, in the history of their Jewish faith, many times the prophets, prophets ended up murdered because people didn't like what they were saying. Uh, but we're all called to be prophets. When we're baptized, we are baptized as priests, prophets, and kings after the example of Christ. And part of our baptism is to be a conscience, not just to ourselves, but to our families, our, our groups, our communities, our country, um, and to speak out for justice and to defend those who are oppressed or uh, don't have equal opportunity. So it's an important part of our faith. Uh, and Jesus, once again, reminds the readings, remind us of that. May the Lord give you his peace. Amen. Let us pray. For all the patients here at Walter Reed Bethesda, may they know God's strength, peace, and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Amen. hear our prayer. For all those struggling with the COVID virus, and all those health workers, and doctors, and nurses, and lab technicians, and emergency personnel, who are risking their own safety and health to care for those who are sick, that they may be safe, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who have died, especially Marilyn, and especially those who died in this past week from the virus. For the, may they know eternal joy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our leaders in our countries and our scientists and legislators that they may find ways to bring peace and justice to our societies, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. My sister and brothers pray that our gifts of bread and wine and the gift of our lives today may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Amen. God, provide for our, the needs of our human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament. Grant that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. 
pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus. Through him you made all things. You sent him as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Spirit and born of Mary. He fulfilled your will and gain for your holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion to break the bonds of death and reveal the resurrection. With the angels and saints and all creation, we praise you. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy, Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy these gifts by sending down your spirit on them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread, gave you thanks and praise, broke the bread, and gave it to his followers, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. As we celebrate this memorial of Jesus' death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the cup of salvation, and give thanks that you have considered us worthy to gather in your presence to serve you and to serve the world in need. We pray that by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. We pray for our world, for peace and justice. For our church throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis our Pope, Timothy our Bishop, and all your faithful people. Remember all those who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your faith, the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that along with Mary, Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may inherit eternal life, may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and us peace in our day. In your mercy keep us free from sin, safe from all distress, as we wait in hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your followers, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom. May you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the risen Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. We bring that peace to all you meet today. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Let only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all day, day long. This is my story. This is my song, praising my Savior all day, day long. Let us pray. <coughs> Lord, this Holy Communion foreshadows the union of the faithful in you. So may it bring about unity in your people, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and the world in need. Thanks be to God. Thank you for being part of our Eucharist today. Thank you, Father. Oh, bite with me, fast for the eventide. The darkness deepens, Lord, with me abide. When all the help Pass, fail, and comforts flee. Help of the helpless who abide with me.